right, so I'm gonna steam this mood tonight for dinner. And first off, I always clean my fish right before we head in and call it a day. That way I don't have to do with all the scales and the guts and I can just get straight to the eating. So to steam it, I have this two pan set up, one that has vent holes and one that holds the liquid. So I spray with Pam so the fish skin doesn't stick to the pan too much. And then I begin to score the fish. So this is about a, maybe a four or five pound moo. So yeah, just making cuts in it. That way it, the steam can flow right through it and cook all the meat fully through the fish. That way it cooks evenly. So here yeah, I'm making my scores. I'm using a bubble blade. Throw the link in the description. And then you'll season the fish. You can use any type of seasoning. Today I'll be using the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning as a rub. So what I'll do is I'll, you know, generously put the seasoning blend and try get all inside of the scores. That way, you know, the meat of the fish gets all the flavors. So I'll do one side, I'll put inside the stomach and then I'll flip over and do the other side. So once that's done, I'll get my steam mixture ready with lemongrass and beer. I uh, went to the store and they didn't have any good looking lemongrass. So I found this lemon paste that I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll give it a try. So I figured, you know what, since this is lemon paste, I'm gonna put some in the stomach and kind of rub it in nicely for flavor. And then I'm gonna open up the bottom of the pan and grab my beer. Gotta do a little taste test first. Make sure the bug is good. And then I'm gonna pour one full can beer inside the bottom, which will be my what I'm gonna use to steam the fish. So I'll get the flavors. You can choose any type of beer. I just had Miller on me, so. I like also using like Big Wave, uh, Kona Brewing Company, uh, Maui Brewing Company, Bikini Blonde just for flavor and then usually I'll add the lemongrass and shred it and throw it in with the beer to give it that essence that flavor but since I have the lemon paste I'm gonna go ahead and throw the lemon paste and mix it in with the beer to give it that steaming flavor and my son's over there like dad what are you doing that's not how you do it <laughs> but he said like and subscribe guys so we got these bell pepper cuts. Um, they're already pre-cut from Safeway. Makes it a lot easy, especially you know when you have kids. Time, right? You want to spend more time with your family. So we got these bell pepper cuts from Safeway, and I'm gonna go ahead and steam it with the fish. So now that that's prepped, he approves, and I'm gonna cover it with foil. So you're gonna completely cover the fish and you wanna make sure that, you know, you crease the edges good and that way all the steam that generates from the beer flows through the fish and all through these vent holes using a fork. So you wanna make a kind of a good amount of vent holes. Um, not too much, cause you want that steam to cook the fish. So you check that the oven is empty and go ahead set bake for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And hit start and while the oven's warming up i'm cutting some toppers which i'm gonna top tonight with cilantro you can go with green onion sweet onion whatever you like but tonight we're gonna go with cilantro so you're just gonna prep until the oven's ready and then once it's ready you're gonna throw on the fish and based on the size of the fish the bigger the fish the longer it'll cook so I set this one for 25 minutes and I'll check it. And if it needs more time, then I'll put it back in. And if it's ready, then I'll take it out. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So in the meantime, kick back, crank a few, my blinky taco cranker, cook some steak, and then I can go check the fish. So I can just see you're ready. The key indications is the, the meat when you score. See all that white, that nice white meat? It's cooked all the way through and then the fork test. Just like brownies, 
if the fork goes all the way through clean and then it's cooked all the way through so here I am getting ready to prep it for the next phase so I was looking at that cheek right there and I was like bro this looks so good right now but you know what I, have, I better wait I better wait <laughs> Wait for everybody else too, you know? So now moving the moo into a glass pan for the next part, the best part. So here I'm setting it up in the pan. I'm gonna move my bell peppers over. And give it a nice color presentation. You know, small kind fancy, nothing major, you know the kind? Once that's done, oh, stand by, stand by for intermission. Smoke and sip. And before I get the peanut oil, I'm gonna put on my cilantro as my topper. Spreading it nicely, evenly, over the fish. Like I said, you can use any toppers. This is just a simple recipe that I put together. And then, the finale, the hot peanut oil bath. So you're gonna heat up your peanut oil and be careful because it's flammable. So I wait till it's about smoking and then you hear it. The hot peanut oil bath. All right guys, I gotta go grind now. So like, subscribe and make a plate. Shoots.